everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you top 5 tips and tricks for different characters and abilities in Garden Warfare 2. Basically, we're going to be looking at, like, for example, our first one, All-Star here. You know, some tricks with, like, you know, the abilities of some of the characters that you can use that some people maybe didn't know of, their primaries, stuff like that. Uh, just some cool things that, you know, probably didn't know or heard of, and it, it just be, it's going to be a pretty fun video today. As always, I just like to get straight to the point. Let's get right into it. Number one, I already have them equipped. We have All-Star. This is an interesting one. It is very, very minimal. I'll try and put a picture for you here in a second. But when I was doing uh, the mod editor for the backyard, I noticed, I was trying to edit uh, All-Star's primary, right? And I noticed something pretty cool about him that I never really realized and I actually was able to use to my advantage on my multiplayer game. I'll try and find that clip for you too as well and put it in here. With All-Star, this is going to sound weird. He has a little bit of splash damage. Right? All-Star has a little bit of splash damage. Let's see if I can do it for you here. See that little explosion right there? It's really tiny. But I, when I was in the mod uh, editor, it, had, it was something called like Radial something, I think, I believe. And... It was like at like 0, 0.0 something, so it wasn't big at all, but it was there. See there? I don't think I even hit him right there. Let's see how close we can get. But the weed is kind of hard because their hitbox, uh, you can't hit them on their, you know, their bottom half really, besides their stem because, you know, I just do be like that. I should have showed you the clip right now. If not, I'll roll it right now. On to the next one. Moving on to our, our second trick. We have Super Brains. Now this one I bet a lot of people already know. Looks like we already got some fire spawns. I can show you guys pretty simple, easily. I'm gonna get her to go into our Sunbeam real quick. This is a very useful trick on multiplayer. Especially if you're one on one a Pea Shooter or Sunflower. If they go into Pea Gatling or Sunbeam. I'm trying to show you here, but we, we need to actually go into it. Let me just uh, skip until she goes into it. Okay, so every AI I tried to actually get to go into its Gatling or Sunbeam, it never did. So I'll just roll a clip for you here because I do it all the time. I'm multiplayer, I do it on stream all the time. If you use your heroic kick, now a lot of people probably already know this, you can actually kick a Sunflower or a Pea Shooter out of its Gatling or Sunbeam ability. This is really useful, especially if you're one on one somebody and they're, you know using, you know, an ability that's just gonna absolutely destroy you. Just go ahead, gear hook kick, it has a very short cooldown. Make sure you hit them with it, and it'll just take them right out of it, and it'll launch them. It's really useful, I use it all the time, it's a, it's a really good trick. Now for the next trick, or more of a troll, this one is with Captain Deadbeard or Cactus, either one. So one has a drone. Any drone can you can use this with. I just go ahead and equip my drone here. And I go up to, let's say, just one of these brown coats, right? Maybe this coffin, right? I can actually push my teammate. They're like, okay, what does this have to do with anything? Say one of your other teammates is playing Captain Deadbeard and you want to absolutely just troll them. If they're in their drone, try and push them off the map. Because you can do it and they'll just be sitting there wondering what the heck happened, how the heck did they fall off the map. I've never done that multiplayer. You could probably, you know, make some people get pretty mad. Uh, but I think it'd be pretty funny. Is this one really, really a tip or a trick? It's more just like a troll type thing. What's cool with this is you can also just get your teammate to go on top of it and actually use it as like a, you know, what you want to call it? An offensive advantage and like goes like pea shooter or something like that. Go into your Gatling. And oh my gosh, you're a flying pea gatling. It's 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 crazy. Now this is actually more of like a little what do you want to call it? Explanation or like you know showcase of hot rod a little bit for this next one. You know, as you know, as hot rod, you really want to have two speed and one digestion because you know speed. But uh, the one thing I, I think a lot of people don't know is when you actually have those. And I'm gonna try and go ahead and eat a zombie real, real quick. And you eat a zombie. 
the speed boost you get after is actually nerfed because you already have the two speed boosts equipped. You do go a little faster, but it's 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 it actually is nerfed. I'll try and put a picture of this up on the screen and actually where I got it from. Uh, that channel I got it from. It actually is nerfed by a little bit. It's hard to tell. So if you want to, you know, go fast just all the time, you don't really care about that, you could just continue to use the T-Speed like I do. I don't think it's a big problem. But if you really just want to have the speed boost at the end and go really fast, then I recommend uh, having only like one. The more you have, the slower you go with that uh, boost at the end after you eat a zombie. Commander Corn's damage actually scales with the amount of direct hits you hit without missing. But for the people that don't have, you know, this legendary or just, you know, really many legendaries don't really know much about him. Commander Corn's damage actually scales per hit, but you cannot miss. Once you miss, it resets. This is a common zombie, so I can't really show it to you uh, on him. I gotta get like a high health zombie. Maybe this, a champion's good, yeah. Perfect timing, actually. Let's see if we can get him to kind of stand still here so I can show you. See? You still do, do 15 damage here and there. But you also do uh, higher damage here and there as well. So like, I think it goes 15, 17, 30, and then, you know, 15's in between and all that, but it does actually scale out damage. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I know it was kind of all over the place there. I'll try and, you know, edit it a little bit. You guys won't see it, but it, I, my whiteboards were everywhere in this video, so I'm gonna try and edit some of this out so it's actually, you know, simple and smooth, and I don't... But I like to add a lot of stuff to my... Uh, sentences when I talk and it just gets annoying I can realize that so thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next video oh I forgot one more thing Centurion's actually a good character